What's up YouTube Official Gaming Network and welcome to episode 8 of our Jetpack Joyride Game in Java tutorial. Last episode, uh, we implemented an FPS timer into our game. This episode, we're actually going to be drawing pixels onto the screen, so uh, we will be filling in uh, you know, our screen or J-frame of a certain colour, and uh, we can uh, like make multiple rectangles or boxes, and uh, yeah, we're pretty much going to be drawing pixels onto the screen. Now I'm going to get right into this episode. Uh, we are going to have to create a buffer strategy. Now what a buffer strategy is, is that it prepares images to be rendered onto the screen. So by creating a buffer strategy, uh, it will be preparing images to be rendered onto the screen. Now we're going to create three buffer strategies. What that does is that the third buffer strategy prepare to put things on the second buffer strategy. The second buffer strategy will prepare to put things on the first buffer strategy and the first buffer strategy will prepare to draw things onto the screen. Now uh, that's just a really brief explanation uh, if you didn't quite understand that or uh, you want a more uh, more in-depth explanation then I'll uh, do a quick Google search. So uh, to create a buffer strategy we're gonna type buffer strategy we're going to call it BS and we're going to set it equal to we're not actually going to set it equal to a new buffer strategy we're going to set it equal to get buffer strategy now we need to import buffer strategy and you might be thinking where does the get buffer strategy method come from well it comes from canvas and we don't need to do something like canvas dot get buffer strategy because uh, our class already extends canvas so we don't need to type canvas dot set preferred size etc we've created a buffer strategy object but we haven't created the actual buffer strategy if that makes sense so to create the actual buffer strategies uh, we're going to make an if statement we're going to be checking if bs is equal to so that's two equal signs then null and what null means, it's pretty much, uh, you know, Java's or any programming language's way of saying nothing. So if we're uh, referring to null, then we're referring to nothing. So we're checking if bs is equal to nothing, which in this case it is. Then we want to uh, call the method create buffer strategy. And this method takes in a, an integer parameter, and we want to create three buffer strategies. So uh, we'll put in three in the brackets. We could create like a million buffer strategies, but uh, you don't want to do that unless you want to bring your computer to its knees begging for mercy. <laughs> so uh, yeah, after create buffer strategy three, we want to get out of this if statement. So if you remember from episode five where we created our threads, uh, we have to type return. So now, we're going to create a graphics object and we're going to use this graphics object object to draw pixels onto the screen. So we're going to type graphics, we're going to call it G, and we're going to set it equal to bs.getDrawGraphics. So uh, bs.getDrawGraphics is pretty much, uh, you know, getting the graphics object that our buffer strategy is created. And it's also letting us draw onto the buffer strategies we've created. So now, uh, we're actually going to uh, set the color. So to set the color, we type g dot set color. Then uh, in the uh, parameter, we can type color dot uh, reds or something like that. I don't know. There's about uh, fifteen different uh, selections. So I'll just import color. So uh, if I type color dot then you can see all the colors that are available but there's only like 15 colors and uh, if you want to uh, put in an RGB value for your color then you can type g.setColor new color then in the parameters of that and the parameters of that new color is three integers obviously being uh, the RGB value so we'll go 48 96 and uh, 171 
So now uh, we set the color for our graphics, but we haven't actually drawn a rectangle. So to do that, uh, we're going to type g dot dot fill rect. Then we want to specify the point at where the rectangle will start to be drawn. So uh, we want to start at the very top of our screen. So we'll type zero zero, and uh, the next two parameters are going to be the width and height of our rectangle because we want our uh, our rectangle to cover the whole screen, just type width and height. Now, uh, by doing this, we haven't actually drawn pixels onto the screen. To draw the pixels onto the screen, we just type g.dispose, and uh, this disposes uh, whatever we've drawn onto the buffer strategies. Then we type bs.show, and bs.show uh, pretty much draws whatever the buffer strategies are, have been preparing to render onto the screen. Alright, so now let's run our game, and uh, this should work. There you go, as you can see that uh, we've drawn some uh, colour onto the screen. Uh, now, uh, you know, we can do a different colour. So, uh, you know, I'll type, uh, let's say, 81, uh, 149, then 200. Then uh, we'll run that. Uh, that pretty much gives us the same color. Let me just uh, just go 20. That should give us a slightly different color. There you go. As you can see, that gives us a nice uh, grassy green color. And, uh, you know, you don't have to use the RGB values. Uh, of course, uh, you can just use color dot uh, red and, uh, you know, the other suggestions there are. All right, so we can run that and uh, it'll work as well. So, yeah. Uh, this was a pretty quick episode, but I'm going to wrap up this episode here. If you enjoyed, feel free to leave a like, a comment, and subscribe. If someone you know is interested in learning how to program a game in Java, or is interested in uh, game devlogs, please let me know about this channel. I would highly appreciate it. If you have a Twitter account, please feel free to follow me here.